you have your access card to all the best events in the country and on this week's show we get you intimate with the Palatons who bring you the best indie rock music and making headlines in the world of fashion as the Khaburone Fashion Weekend where everything that can be under the name of fashion was showcased. So sit back and relax with me, Bui, on Bonang. Still to come on Bonang. It's the Palatons, baby. <laughs> the biggest rock and roll band in Africa. When Botswana celebrates the fashion industry, I'm excited to be a part of it. This is not something that we're not just playing games here. This is this is our living. If I don't play golf for a month or something, I just feel bad. It is part of my lifestyle. It, it, it really does wonders for my recreation. Coming up, time out. Rock music is a genre used to express oneself. Having evolved over the years, now with different variants, it's either you love it or hate it. We take you to the Palatone's shore and we had an access to see them before the show, testing their noisy instruments of rock. How's that, babe? Sweet. I am standing here with the guys in our shows in Bazana. How are you guys? Very good, thank you. Do Melang. Oh, wow! Is he the only one who can do that? Let's, let's do that. How do you say how are you in Bazana? Um, you say Ukai. <laughs> they are absolutely amazing. I just said that. Wow. Now, Palatons, is this the first time in Bazana? No. When did you guys come here? Probably five or six years ago. We played in the parking lot. In a parking lot? Yeah. Five or six years ago. You guys yeah. have been rocking since 1998. I cannot believe you guys played in a parking lot. There were about five or six people there as well, watching us. The first time I saw them was in 2005, Woodstock. Oh, where? And Pakalani, when they were still performing in parking lots and stuff. Oh yeah, they said something. You're amongst the 26 people I who came was. to the show? I was, actually I was. Amazing show. The stage works, the lighting was tailor-made to the type of music they cherish. With the music usually guitar driven with drums and bass providing the backbeat and the singer providing the vocals, it doesn't get crazy like this. Uh, I think my voice is too loud. Check The name, the Palatones. Yes. Where does it come from? Well, there's many stories surrounding the origin of the name. It's basically, there's a, a record label in the UK called Parlophone. Mm -hmm. And when we were a young band, a lot of our favorite bands were signed to Parlophone. Mm -hmm. So we just stole the parlor and put tones at the end. And that was it. Had a nice ring to it. Yeah. Before that, we were Soapbox Derby. Before that, we were Crayon. Here at home, they also visited the SOS village in Tukweng before their performance to inspire the disadvantaged children. Having been together since 1998, they brought their best to Khaburoni, as most of their friends were high in spirit about what was before them. Which one is your favorite song? Uh, I'm a human after all. I'm a woman after all. Can you sing a bit of it? A bit, just a bit of it. <laughs> oh, shame! I can't sing it right now. Maybe later. It's this song that I love so much. Um, um, baby, be mine. I know most of it, and I've saw them play before. Which is your favorite album and song? Um, uh, my favorite um album is going to be the world next to yours. This, yes, and then my favorite song is from the other album, um, Funny Face from Radio Control Robots. Okay, are you looking forward to the show? Yes, definitely. All right, what are you going to tell your friends when you get back um, to school? Well, that I've gone to the parlor tones and they're probably going to be jealous. <laughs> they also brought their merchandise for people to remember them. Talk about branding. Did you guys start with four guys or there's been five before? Others, you know, along the way said, no, I cannot do this anymore. Or you've always been four? We've always been, this was the original four. Um, it was a stage where Glenn had to drop out because he had to finish matric and then we got in another guy to kind of fill in with bass and then at one stage we had a, a girl playing oboe but that all lasted about five minutes in the big scheme of things so it's really just been the four of us. And let's talk about your genre. What genre do you guys do? Is it only rock or there's something else that you do? No, it's mostly rock, eh? We call it indie rock maybe or indie rock yeah atmospheric indie rock 
Melodic rock. Oh, okay. So there's many genres of rock. There's many types of rock. Yeah. I guess, yeah. How well do you know these guys? I've, I only know like two tracks of them. Do you love those two tracks? I love them. It's like my favorite of all music I have. Are you looking forward to the show? The what? The show, tonight's concert. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm really excited. I can't wait. I'm, I have front seats, so it's going to be real good. Okay, now let's talk about Madonna. What are you guys expecting? Um, lots of diamonds. Can you please bring diamonds? <laughs> <laughs> okay, these guys are very funny. I told you. Okay, lots of diamonds. What else? No, uh, we don't know what to expect. I mean, uh, the fact that it's going to be a full house tonight, uh, we're super excited. Let's talk about tonight. What are you expecting from the Palatone? Music. I know it's music. What's up? Tell me what you're expecting. <laughs> Loud music. I don't know. I have music. I've got no idea. I've never listened to them before. You've never listened to the Palatone? Yeah, I only know the DSTV advert. You know, <laughs> colorful. It's the Palatones, baby. It's the biggest rock and roll band in Africa. They are absolutely amazing. And this is that second time in Botswana. I'm talking about none other than the Palatones. Follow me and have an amazing evening with Bonan. When it was time for them to do what they know best, that is experimenting with their sounds and various structures from their songs, the place turned out to be an indie, atmospheric rock night as they were belting out song after song. With my best being, this is our story. Whose story? That's for another day. I just loved the energy. Your favorite song, your favorite song that they've sang so far? Um, you're beautiful. I'm still waiting for um, push me to the floor. Are you enjoying the show? Yes, I am. You having a good time? Yes. Best time ever. It's always wet, wet, wet. Now I'm taking a break. They performed their famous songs. Save your best bits, I will be there, and many others. You know, I touched the guy's hand, the lead vocalist. Oh, and you feel good about and it? And people were touching my hand because they say, pass his hand to us. <laughs> Alright, enjoy the show. What do you say about the Palatones coming all the way to Botswana? These guys, it's actually very even difficult to get a concert with them in South Africa where they come from. What do you say about that? I feel so humbled on behalf of Haboroni. And apparently I have that um, they once came here and there were like 26 people who attended the concert. So I feel like um, it's, it's quite um, the progress. It was awesome, the uh, people of uh, Gaborone were very festive and very welcoming and loving and we, we had an awesome time. The crowd was amazing, energy was electric and we look forward to being back. Hey, can we come with, can we come with guys, can we go to America with them, can we come with? Yeah, of course. Can you fit into a suitcase? You can. The, the, the Pelotons are not intending to pay for my ticket. They want to fit me in a suitcase. Imagine, okay. imagine. Think about that. But guys, phenomenal show and thank you very much. Thank you very much. I see that you were very excited to meet the Pelotons. Yes, we were. Are you happy? Absolutely. It was a brilliant a show. show. My thinking is that rock is not only a type of music, but a lifestyle. Bonang had a great time and we enjoyed the best of the good life. Up after the break.
when Botswana celebrates the fashion industry, I'm excited to be a part of it. This is not something that we're not just playing games here. This is this is our living. If I don't play golf for a month or something, I just feel bad. It is part of my lifestyle. It it, it really does wonders for my recreation. Don't be confused by the fakes and the phonies. This is Dan Dada, the original, the one and only. Yeah, you're watching Bonang. Hey everybody, we are the, the Parlotones, Parlotones, and you're watching Bonang on Botswana TV. Coming up, Fashion Diary. GFW, GFW, GFW. Thinking of a record label? A new fashion label? Nope. It's the Khabaroni Fashion Weekend, one of the finest fashion events ever to have been staged locally, going by the theme Under Construction. Mmm, how amazing. This year, Khabaroni Fashion Weekend sets their sights very high, making sure that fashion is not just a hobby, but an industry that is growing. Say, under construction, like their theme. Hence, the setup at Fairgrounds had a construction site. The theme is under construction. So, as you can see, that's why we got JCBs coming in. We've got um, cement mixers. We've got, you know, all the things that you'll basically find in, um, on a construction site. Because also the concept of the fashion show, we're trying to. Because uh, it's the first time we have a Habrone Fashion Weekend. Uh, previously, the, the previous year it was Habrone Fashion Night. So now because it's a new concept, it's under construction. So the theme follows what the event is all about. You took my love, I thought I was the only one. You took my love, it feels like you... Day one of the Fashion Weekend was the epitome of the two nights plus an expo with an invitation of international media, models and actors. Backstage was the busiest place for our eyes as stylists, makeup artists, hair preparations were going on from corner to corner. If you are not here, you're definitely missing out. But as you know, Bonang brings it out to you. As you can see, there are beautiful models behind me. There's a whole lot of clothes. There's stylists. There's makeup artists. This is the event of the year, Khaburone Fashion Weekend. Tell me, tell me, what's your role as a stylist? Because I mean, really, that's something that is unheard of in Botswana. What's your role as a stylist? Um, my 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 role is to put the pieces together to make sure that whatever you're wearing, like right now, is to make sure that whatever you're wearing at the top goes what you're wearing with the butt to the bottom, and what you need to do to do to your hair and that kind of thing. It's just to make that make sure that the stuff that the designers make work. Yeah. What are the pieces that we should be looking forward to that you put together? Um, we have a lot of like um, Ankara fabric. We have a lot of chiffon. Let's, Mr. Worldwide, take over. Take over. Let's about makeup for tonight. What makeup did you put together? Um, I, it's a very serene, a very, very clean, um, glowing look. Very clean with um, bronze look with nude lips. Uh, a little bit of eyeliner. Very, very clean and elegant. That's what. That's what we want for tonight. Yes, Fashion Week 2012 is going down in this building. Tell us about your collection. My collection is Eva May. Um, it's your trendy everyday wear. Um, I also provide like your glitz and your glam. So basically what I'm trying to do is provide for everybody and fit everybody into my collection. Have you been doing this before Big Brother or it's, it's very new? It's very new, it's very new. It, it, it was born two weeks ago. So hopefully I'm going to take it to new heights and it will soar high up there where it's supposed to be. I think a lot of young women out there would like to know if you're taken because you're very, you're very handsome. Um, actually I'm single. But um, about the relationship thing, I'm not ready for it yet. He ain't ready for a relationship. He only wants to model and do his thing, hey? Rain over me. Mami of Spruce played around with prints, paneling and hemlines, mixing colors. This collection saw a blend of teal, emerald, 
purple and lime green giving the collection a summer ready look. Fatima's collection was unmistakably a summer conscious, one bright color tailored, bottoms trimmed with striped and polka dotted shirts and tops. Yeah, I'm in the club and the place is popping. Sip, sipping, bub and the face is knocking. I loved the denim tailored pieces with sporty luxe persona, especially the swing mini dresses that Leslie created. Albakwe Mulusiwa of Gilded Sands kept a strict palette of cream and baby pink for his soft and dreamy looks with boned, bouncy hands. Albakwe thinks her collection is about the movement and elegance of belay, giving off energy. She was the favorite for many that were present on day one. Tania of Roho Raha had African printed blazers paired with printed shortcuts from same cloth. Mm -hmm. The silky zebra printed tops and mini printed dresses. The use of satin, sheer and cotton came to play, making her collection another favorite for many that were present. You killing that dress and I love it with a passion. Laquan's Meets Neon collection was absolutely interesting. Bodysuits, cosmic ray splattered jumpsuits, body accentuating maxes, skater skets were Laquan's best at this year's fashion weekend in Botswana. Day 2 was an exciting night as more designers brought statement accessories to their collection. Oh gosh! I've seen a few of Botosi designers and I'm, I'm really really curious and interested to see what she has next and Boketo, Boketo Chiepe, I'd love to see what she's got then. With Emma being the face of GFW, Koketo Dimonde Rahun Tetuana Lyric were some of the designers who showcased on day two. Human beings in a mind, what's a mind to a king, what's a king to a guy, what's a guy to a um, The marketing Botswana, do people come to you guys as designers or we still go to your retail stores and buy stuff from there? You know, I think Botswana is moving in a direction where people are starting to take notice and they started to appreci appreciate customized looks. You know, people now want to look different. They don't want to buy something from a store and look like everybody else. So I think at the moment, we're, we're seeing more people approaching us when they have occasions. Some exhibits here that came up that were very pretty. Like I actually need to buy some things. I need to get some cash though and buy some things. Now let's talk about music and fashion because I think people do not um, know that there's a linkage and there's a yeah. huge linkage there. Let's talk about the linkage. Yeah. Um. Actually, it goes way back. Uh, music and fashion. It's basically music, hip hop. What I do is just has its own certain fashion and stuff like that. It was derived from like way back and like it's evolved ever since. So like it's just always seeing the transcends into different generations and how it comes up, so fashion always linked with me. When Botswana celebrates fashion, when, when Botswana celebrates the fashion industry, I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm, I'm thrilled because it's like, we, this is something to be reckoned with. This is not something that, we're not just playing games here, this is, this is our living. Co-hosted by La Poloja, Botswana's leading lifestyle magazine, government ministers, local celebrities, proud parents, international magazine editors witnessed with us Africa's next top fashion show. Still to come on leisure and lifestyle. If I don't play golf for a month or something, I just feel bad. It is part of my lifestyle. It, it, it really does wonders for my recreation.
Hi, my name is Nunu Ramorotsi of Masonoko coming and you are watching Bonang. I'm Eddie West as in Kibotswana. I'm watching with Nong. Coming up, leisure and lifestyle. Most people I know say they don't play golf because they are not rich or old enough. Not sure about that because today we attend a golf tour of a kind. The Orange Golf Classic tournament staged at the 18-hole Pagalani Golf Courts. I must admit, I love everything about golf. Today is our Orange uh, Golf Classic. As usual, it's been going on for over four years now. And we have invited the top players. And on top of that, BGU has also participated in making this happen. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. Cold in the morning, but now the sun is out and the players are enjoying themselves. Golf Classic, as usual, Orange doing their thing. Pakalani was packed with those who were invited to enjoy the serenity the game is associated with. Both women and men, even kids were invited to participate. I started golf three years ago. I wasn't really into golf. I was into football and my dad kept on telling me, let's go to the golf club. I was like, no, I want to go play football with my friends. Now it's like, it's my life now. Enjoy playing golf. If I don't play golf for a month or something, I just feel bad. Always want to be here in golf and have fun. I would say golf is part of me. I love golfing, I eat golfing, I play golf. <laughs> the two-day golf tournament was used as qualification for some, but all in all, the game itself has always been associated with people enjoying the good time. I think uh, we, we should extend golf to all youths and, and break the myth that it is only a sport for the rich. Orange is doing a lot for, 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 for golf. And I think uh, we should uh, uh, plow a little bit more of this sponsorship into youth development. There aren't very many ladies like this. Clearly there were more men that were playing than the ladies. I think it would be nice to have more ladies on board. And I don't know, I think it's a tradition that people have assumed it's a man's game, but it's really a good game for the ladies too. We had to follow them around the course to enjoy the leisure found in golf by many who were playing all day long. Golf is a very interesting sport. It uh, keeps you relaxed. It also gives you time to interact with other guys from all over the country. You can also learn a lot of things. Golf etiquette, you know, how to interact in the course and outside because it's not only about playing, but about meeting with new people, making connections. It is part of my lifestyle. It, it, it really does wonders for my recreation. I don't know Tenehile, for instance, go fishing with Tenegri Junior as a half. You come and hit that little white ball. Everything just goes into it. That energy goes how to how I call it being on top Everything just falls in place. This is where I deal with all my stress, you know, when after the whole week of work, then you come here on the, during the weekend and you can be able to relax on the course. It's you who plays golf, so when you do anything bad, you don't have to blame anyone else. Like football, in the playing, if someone doesn't kick it well, you have to blame the other one. In golf, you blame yourself. And you keep it to you, you don't blame anyone. You hit a bad shot, then you correct it yourself. Since a typical golf course consists of 18 holes, different clubs are used when playing on such a course. This uh, is a driver. Uh, in, it is for the longest hit. Uh, you, you tee off uh, with this on the longest uh, holes, your par, your par five and your par fours. And then uh, you would have your, your putter. 
which is uh, basically for rolling the ball into the hole. And in between, you have uh, various clubs like uh, a three would hit longer than, for instance, uh, an eight iron. So each club is uh, for a particular distance, depending on your strength and, and, and of course your build. It's not a usual sport, you play as a team and a team marks each other or each individual marks each other. So when you play together, you're playing as, a, as, a, as an individual but as a team at the same time because you mark each other. So what happens, the handicap system, it runs from a scale of 1 to 36. 36 being the worst, 1 being the, the best, okay? So midway between, it means that is the average, so it, that means I'm above average. <laughs> the wind proved challenging for those who were playing, resulting in some playing out of the course into the bush. Yeah, it was uh, really tough today. Tota runa rebar tam kan tata mo di brown so the green ni kima tata mo na. Well, today's game is in a siyami. Although no kanale pifanya na me, inaskan zingeri ngalo tata tata. Jaka mo kaziri. Hi, today it was tough. The wind, the water everywhere. Hey, I couldn't play well. Um, a lot of people may think that um, golf is only in Khaburoni or Joaneng or Rapa, but you'd be surprised how many golf clubs are out there. And as Orange, we're always talking about investing in the community, making sure that people really understand that this is a sport that is not just for um, elite people, it's, it's for everybody. And it isn't the car who bear the answers by Lord that coming up, but some girl golf. If you really want to learn the game, here is what I recommend golf is a lifestyle, deals are sealed during play. So go out there, pick a set of golf clubs, and be part of the good life. What a show! This man is sitting on talent. Next time we have you on the course. So there you have it. It is now time for you to go out there and get one of those designs and flat because, you know, after all, you have it. And we leave for this, the good life, baby. I'm out of here.